All right, guys, welcome to our League of Legends game. Mr. President, I hope you're ready to carry us to victory. I don't know much about this game, but I'll do my best. I have the best advisors helping me, you know. Advisors? Who needs advisors? I'm a natural at this game. I'll show you all how it's done. All right, Mr. President, we'll see about that. But remember, it's all about teamwork. That's right. We need to work together to win, just like how I work with Kamala. Well, speaking of teamwork, who's going to be our ADC? I'll do it. I have the best aim in the world, you know. Oh, really? Better than Steph Curry? Of course. Nobody has better aim than me. All right, Mr. President, we'll let you take the ADC role. I'll take support since I'm good at making sure everyone's taken care of. All right, sounds good. And what about you, Mr. Obama? I'll take mid. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. We'll see about that. Oh, man, this is wild. Mr. Biden, you might want to stay back a little bit. I'm trying, but they keep coming at me. I need some backup here. Where's my team? Just focus on farming, Mr. President. We'll handle the rest. Oh, man, did you see that? Mr. Biden just saved Mr. Trump's life. That's right. I may not be the best at this game, but I know how to keep my team alive. All right, all right. You guys were right. We need to work together to win. That's what I've been saying all along. Well, that was a wild ride. Who knew that the key to world peace was playing League of Legends together? Hey, stranger things have happened. So, what did you guys think of the game? Which champions did you enjoy playing the most? I have to say, I really enjoyed playing as Ari. Her mobility and crowd control abilities were really useful. I liked playing as Draven. He's got some serious damage potential and can really turn a team fight around. I played as Janna and really enjoyed the support role. It's all about keeping your team healthy and buffing them up. I think I might have to play with you more often, Mr. Biden. I could use some backup. You know, maybe we should start holding regular League of Legends games between world leaders. It might be a good way to break down some of the barriers between us. And I'll be sure to pick Draven every time just to show them who's boss. Well, as long as we're working together, I don't think it matters who picks which champion. You know, I think there's a lot of potential for gaming to bring people together regardless of their political views. I agree. There's something about working together towards a common goal that can really break down barriers. And who knows? Maybe I could use my skills at Fortnite to negotiate with other world leaders. Well, we'll have to see about that, Mr. President. You know, it would be great if we could get some of our international friends in on this, too. I bet Putin and Xi Jinping are big gamers. Maybe, but I don't think we should give Putin any more opportunities to show off his shirtless horse riding skills. And I don't think Xi Jinping would want to risk losing face by getting beaten by a bunch of Americans. Well, we'll just have to see who's brave enough to take us on. You know, I think one of the biggest challenges we'll face is communication. We all have different styles and ways of communicating, and that can be tough to navigate in a game. That's a good point. But I think if we can all agree on some basic strategies and communicate clearly, we should be able to work together effectively. And if all else fails, I'll just shout, you're fired, at anyone who's not pulling their weight. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Mr. President. That was a great game, guys. I think we make a pretty good team. I agree. It just goes to show that even when we have different views and opinions, we can still work together towards a common goal. And maybe next time we can invite some of our international friends to join us. I bet Kim Jong-un is a real gamer. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Mr. President. But I think we're off to a good start. You know, I think we could use our gaming sessions to promote a message of unity and encourage others to find common ground. That's a great idea. We have a unique opportunity to show that even people with vastly different political views can work together and have fun. And who knows, maybe we could even start a movement of people playing video games together as a way to promote unity. Well, that's a great idea, Mr. President. I think we could all get behind that. 